you an eight ball, Yuri. <clears throat> so here I am aboard the Elizabeth Day. Yo, Pally, over here. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. <clears throat> yeah, game, game crashed, eight ball. character. Um, Jacobson didn't tell me much. Jeez, what kind of wood stain? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator or a Coast Guard guy, something. Didn't you ever see flesh? Were they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? <laughs> That's quite enough. We need to do this fast if we don't want to get caught. All right, look, I got you a copy of the initial report. And I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, let's do this, uh, gotcha. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Uh, let me take notes. Um, okay, got it. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Heinz to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson, come in, Anderson. Come check this out, I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? because I, I opened it after all. Um, okay, let's see. What's this? Ship manifest. <coughs> Door 
doors that like I get stuck on them or something. What's up? calm as we head out of Istanbul. Professor Johansson seemed very worried about the safety of the sarcophagus and various other artifacts from his dig, but I assured him that all was well. 10, 14, 04. Rough waters last evening. Operations normal, but the crew seems restless. One of the Turks has been telling them ghost stories. I had Lieutenant Stygian take him aside and speak with him. Ten, fifteen, oh four. Nothing to report. Situation normal. Ten, seventeen, oh four. Two of the crew have gone missing, and I fear they may have fallen overboard sometime during the night. No trace of either. Lieutenant Stygian has tried to contact the families, but something seems to have gone wrong with the radio. We may have a saboteur on board. The crate holding the sarcophagus seems to have been opened. What whoa? 10, 19, 04. found blood on the upper and lower decks. It seems at least three more of the crew are missing. The men are hysterical. I found the Turk in his cabin, curled up into a ball, muttering something indecipherable to himself. Lieutenant Stygian is one of the missing crew, as well as the radio technician. One of the men had a shortwave radio, but all calls for help have gone unanswered. I leave this to whoever may find it. This ship is cursed. May it sink to the crushing depths of Davy Jones' locker before... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see. And... Wait. Oh, wait. Did I do reports already? 
that. I seem to have lost all my blood just in the time it's taken me to be on this ship. That's just ridiculous. see if I can't uh, get uh... oh my god this is like just ridiculous every time I turn around it says I'm out of blood you know out of here. check something. Um, Date select that. That will help with my blood usage, I'm hoping. I've never tried this before, I don't know if this is going to work. Just head down there. Gangway B stairs, now go! It won't let me feed on him. <laughs> or maybe I hit the wrong key, let me try again. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Here comes another fly into my parlor. I should restart the stream, Yuri, and uh, see if I can figure out what's going on. And hey, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night because I just wanted to. I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not wearing you out or anything, am I? Uh, that's, uh... It's hard to do these these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. It can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Of course, uh, Heather, I'd love for you to stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I don't want to be <sighs> important to you. Okay, um, wait for me at my place. I, I can't have you following me around, it's too dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I check there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. My dear Heather, whatever did I do without you? I'll see you later. 